students welcome to maths video session today we are going to see third term unit 7 information processing come let's get into the lesson term 3 unit 7 information processing quick way of adding we perform addition of numbers in many situations daily Let us learn some tricks which help us to add numbers quickly. Using addition table is one of the good ways to add small numbers. Let us know some facts in addition. Adding 0 to a number, a number remains the same. when you add 0 to it observe the example yes next adding 1 to a number when one is added to a number it gives the add number that is the next number Do you observe the example? Next, adding two to a number. When two is added to a number, the number jumps or skips over two next to it. Observe the example for it. The next, adding. 10 to a number when 10 is added to a number its ones place remains the same and digit in tens place is increased by 1 that is moves to the next number next find the sum of pairs of 10 Observe the given number. Five plus one plus five plus nine. So, which is the first pair of ten? Yes, five plus five. And the second pair of ten is one plus nine. So, have we find the pairs? Now, let us add them. Five plus five is equal to ten. One plus nine is equal to ten. Do you understand, children, how to find the pairs? Let us move on to the next sum. Three plus six plus one plus two plus eight. So, what is the first pair? Three plus six plus one, and the second pair is two plus eight. So the answer is three plus six plus one is equal to ten. Two plus eight is equal to ten. So we have find the pairs of the ten. Do you understand the sum, children? Let us move on to the next topic: addition and subtraction. I hope you all know how to add the numbers. Let us add the number: five plus three, eight; two plus three, five; one plus zero, one. So. Eight is in ones place, five is in tens place, and one is in hundreds place. So the answer should be read as one hundred and fifty-eight. Do you understand, children? Let us move on to the next sum. Subtraction. Shall we? Subtraction. Nine. 
minus 8. So what is 9 minus 8? 1. 3 minus 2. The answer is 1. Again 3 minus 2. So the answer is 1. So this can be read as 111. Next, put greater than, lesser than and equal symbol in the boxes. Okay, what is the first sum? 103, 438. Which one is the greater? Yes, 438. 250, 69. Which one is smaller? Yes. 69 is smaller. So the symbol should be like this. 408, 408. Both are equal. So the symbol should be in equal to. Yes, correct. When the number is greater, the symbol should be opened. When the number is smaller, the symbol should be closed. When they are both equal, the symbol should be in equal to. Do you all understand this lesson children? Very good. So this is what we study in information processing. Thank you.